We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Fit the Lockalites, we take a look at this. And what this is, is Andy Capp's Fire Fries. Now, this, the Hot Fries, is probably the most requested product that's out there that I have not done content for. And I have not done content for... The simple reason that you don't see the actual normal Flaming Hots on this channel either. Uh, I think it's a garbage product and it looked to me like this was just a clone of that same garbage product and it's not hot. To me, it, it's not interesting flavor wise, it's trash, right? So the Flaming Hot, I have never had it in a good setting. And I, to me, there's just like, why, why would I do that? You know, I can just say that the Flamin' Hot is trash and I don't want to have any of the clones or as few of them as possible. There are still are some on the channel, of course, but so that's why I didn't want to do this. And then they came out with this and I thought, okay, well, maybe it's hotter and I can appease some of the people who have requested that I do this particular snack. Even though, honestly, uh, I don't expect a lot out of this. There's also ranch fries, there's cheddar fries. Beer battered onion rings, I guess like a Funyun thing. Conagra is doing this. And so I don't know how fiery this is going to get because the hottest pepper I see here is cayenne. And it looks like the uh, cayenne hot sauce is playing a role in here. So, but there's also citric acid, which makes me a bit nervous that these are going to be just complete garbage. But... We'll see. I mean, I'm giving it a fair shake. You guys know me. I have a very open mind to things. And, uh, I, I, you know, the, the hot fries were something I was figuring I would get to maybe if either there was a lot more demand for it or I ran out of other content to do. And um, But then these came along, so the, I probably won't ever do those now at this point unless, unless these are just majestic. So this Andy Cap is interesting, and we're going to spend a little bit of time here on story time because I never understood the appeal of Andy Cap. So back when I was a kid, you know, you would have the funnies, what we call the funnies, would be in the color, uh, the color um, supplement that would come with the Sunday paper, where coupons and other stuff like that would also be in there. Sunday would be two to Sunday's paper newspaper would be two to three times the, the weekday paper. And so people would often buy just the Sunday paper. Uh, Parade magazine used to be a thing in that. I don't know if it is anymore. But during the week, there would be black and white funnies. They would just be a much smaller section. Oftentimes, they were on a page with a crossword puzzle as well. And so Andy Cap was always one of those characters that would appear in that they were little two to four panel kind of throwaway things uh peanuts was in there just i mean just random stuff was in there i don't remember all of them now because most of the time the week the weekday stuff wasn't great and this guy so this got me th for a couple questions first of all is this was never this is a british character right this is from like an he's an English creation. And I never understood that he was popular enough here to not only continue running. I, like I said, I don't know if he's still in papers now. I haven't looked at a newspaper in quite some time, along with everybody else. But also, I don't know that he's popular enough that they are going to pay licensing. Like, ConAgra is paying licensing for him to be on that. Like... The relevancy here is 
uh, honestly, just a bit baffling to me. So I never quite understood that whole dynamic of uh, Andy Cap, but he, he's he's kind of a, he's kind of a layabout. And most of the panels, I remember him either being at a bar or sometimes on his couch. He's on his couch here, but it wasn't in color. They were all they were never color. I, I don't I don't think I've ever seen a color Andy Cap panel, and he was very frequently arguing with his wife and that seemed to be the majority of of what he did outside of going to the bar and or sitting on the couch so i, I guess this is maybe supposed to be some sort of pub snack or something i, I don't know it, the whole thing is kind of weird to me. Uh, so anyway that that concludes our story time about the weirdness of andy cap and there's a little you know a little a little stroll back through memory lane um those of you in uh, Gen X, maybe millennials, some of the older millennials will probably remember those days. I don't know how fondly. Um, all right, so, and like I said, it might still exist even now. I, I don't think so. I don't think people read newspapers a lot. Uh, these are interesting shape. I mean, they are kind of like French fries, which is, I think, the idea here. This reminds me of some, you know, planters used to have, it looked like they were just um, Julianne potato chips and they were very they were like these only they were about maybe half this thickness and i think french's used to have one like that as well i haven't seen those for a very very long time though uh, i don't think those still exist anymore they used to come in a, a sort of a round can like you can sometimes find the cheese balls now and you would pull the metal lid off and then try not to cut you know the outside of your hand <laughs> reaching past there to to get the goodies, but uh, all right, before this digresses too much further, uh, let's get into it and see just what we have here. Uh, these have a really odd smell to them. It's it's almost it's almost like a sourness. Ah, uh, like the sort of sourness, like from a. Old sweaty jock strap that hasn't been washed in a really long time. That that kind of sour. That is weird. Well, I hope they don't taste like that. Not that I've tasted one of those, but I I hope they don't taste like how bad I would imagine that would be. Yeah. Uh Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, what the hell? They're light. They're very light and airy. Oh, wow, these are wild. These they're very look, they're very light and airy. Oh. They have a really weird almost uh, oh there's onion powder in here. That so the onion powder is reading through way more than I wished it would. The texture is really interesting. I like the texture so far. Uh, I don't like that these are going to get my fingers red, though. I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what we have here. I, I don't. I think I've had their cheese fries before. I might have had the hot fries as well. I don't recall ever having those. And these, I think, were they. They tend to be more expensive than like regular chips, as I recall. So I, I don't think I ran across these a lot. It just kind of amazes me that this. Honestly, if this product exists at all, let alone that it's popular enough to put new flavors out, just kind of kind of baffling. Who's eating all these? Who is it? It's not me. All right, uh, let's try to go for a burn here and see what we can get out of this. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really love the texture of these. That's my favorite part. The flavor is weird. Is there supposed to be cheese in here or something? So maybe that's what it is. These have this really cool, unique texture. Uh, these, I don't think are a great product though. I 
I, I know they're going to be staining my fingers. And I don't like that. The slight novelty of this texture is not worth this flavor and what's going on with this. So I think the citric acid was a mistake because it's definitely driving up the uh, astringency, astringency here quite a bit. Kind of unpleasantly. Mmm. So these are one of the few snacks out there that I think are actually kind of fun to eat. Um, when you've eaten as much junk over time as I have, it's pretty rare that that, that comes along. That part of this, these I like. That they're fun to eat. Not, not a lot of foods are fun to eat. But Think about, you know, how you enjoy food. It might be flavor. It could be you know, nutrition or something or mouthfeel or texture but when's the last time that you've eaten something and went this is actually fun to eat prior to these i couldn't tell you when the last time was all right we're just going to mow through this bag because i'm not i don't want to save these they're not that good and i'm reaching for a burn here that i don't think is going to happen but Also, I don't want to screw with any of these smaller pieces. I think you could, um, maybe, maybe that's what people do. I, I don't know. I, I don't generally eat these snacks. I've had these maybe three or four times ever in my entire life. Including this time. Um, but I think you could do some really cool cooking stuff with, with these. The novels here are starting to wear off a bit, though. There's a slight greasiness to some of these, especially the ones towards the bottom of the bag I don't like. Just like real fries, I suppose. My fingers are red and shiny. <laughs> I will give these a default one. And there's no flames or anything like this on the front of it. It just says fire fries. I will say this, as far as things that are fun to eat, there's a lot of really cool Japanese desserts. I would, I would include those in the fun to eat discussion. Honestly, I would say these as well. These are just all broken in pieces and I'm tired of eating these, so I'm not gonna bother anymore, but. Not as bad, not as bad as uh, Cheetos would be. Okay, you can go away now. Well, so this these were both better in a way and also about what I was expecting. So the uh, the hot fries actually have fire look at this, in the lettering, whereas the fire fries don't. I don't understand. So maybe the hot ones are supposed to be hotter. I, I don't know. These are supposed to be an onion-baked crunch, but uh, 
I, I don't know how much I believe the oven bake crunch business because these are quite greasy, like unpleasantly, unpleasantly oily. Um, I got so okay. So I will track down the hot fries. Um, I they were right next to these on the shelf. If enough people want me to do the hot fries, I guess I will do those as well. Uh, these so th so these texture wise were super interesting. These were a lot of fun to eat. Uh, I enjoyed that novelty of it for probably the first uh, the first um, well the first half of the bag for sure. The second half was nowhere near as good though. Uh, flavor wise, it has got a lot of oddities to it. It is, I would say, mostly like a Louisiana style sauce. If you, for whatever reason, added citric acid to it, and there is a little bit of garlic and onion flavors that are, are kind of playing in there as well. Uh, I could have lived without those, but given that that's as as high as it was ever going to be, that is basically going to be a default one. So I can't see. Uh, these are particularly fiery or punishing or anything like that, or good. I, I would not get these again. But it's a new thing out here. Like I said at the top of the video, uh, people have been, in real life particular, which has kind of surprised me that people like those that well, have been saying, hey, you should do the hot fries. So um, if there's enough demand on YouTube, I guess I can probably do the hot fries as well. But other than that, I don't think that is going to be too much of interest to me these were interesting for a while but ultimately are not they're, they're still they're still it's just kind of confusing me still that these are out there it just it blows me away i guess more than anything so yeah we'll leave it there so that was the andy caps fire fries now go full in peace to serve the flame